Hey everybody, it's Rini. I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the skincare products that I found myself using pretty much, you know, more often than others. No diss against all the other wonderful products I have, but for whatever reason, these are the products that I just found myself grabbing from my morning and evening routine. Uh, so let's start. In the morning, if I decided to wash my face um, over the sink before hopping in the shower, I tended to use the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser. If I wanted to start my day with a little exfoliation, I would go from, I would use from Jasmina Beauty, the Columbina Mud Cleanser, Mud Cleanser, and this is really cool. You put a little of it in your palm, add some water, and it fizzes. So it's kind of a you know, fun way to start the morning. If I decided to do all the washing face and body in the shower alone, uh, good old Dove soap, unscented Dove soap. And then I also keep in the shower this nice bar soap from Palermo. It is the coconut milk and oatmeal unscented with jojoba oil. All right, so once I'm dried off and dressed and getting ready to do the morning routine, uh, several times a week I will start with from, from NIAD, the superoxide dismutase saccharide mist. This helps to avoid dehydration. Days I don't use that, I will grab my bio, Biologique Rocher, the famous lotion P50 1970. It's a liquid effoliant, so sometimes I will kick things off with that. Moving on to serums, uh, I frequently grab from Cos de Baja the snail mucin, which has hyaluronic acid in it. Um, also from NIAD, the Copper Amino Isolate Serum from The Ordinary, which is the sister brand of NIAD, by the way, the Argenaline Solution, and from Depology, the Matrixyl 3000, which is also safe to use around the eyes. Uh, if I want to use dedicated um, eye cream or serum from NIAD, the Fractionated Eye Contour Concentrate, this is one of their best sellers, and for a good reason. And this is empty. I'm going to have to get another one. From Bamboo Earth, a brand new to me in 2023, this is the Eye Bright Serum, and it has like the little metal, metal roller balls. That feels good when you're putting that on. At night, I like to use more of a creamier eye cream on, on top of the serum-based ones. So this is from Brickle. It is the Restoring Eye Cream. Now, interestingly enough, this brand is basically marketed toward men, but there's certainly no reason why we gals can't use it as well. Okay, vitamin C. I tend to grab uh, from Drunk Elephant the good old C Firma Fresh Day Serum. I also like from Sunday Riley the CE Glow Vitamin C and Turmeric. And then this one is from Clinical Skin Vitamin C Pro Collagen Serum. This one is practically empty, so I need to get another one. If I'm going to gua sha, I like to start, you know, put on a facial oil. This one from the House of Grow is Woke Rejuvenating Face and Neck Oil. This one is from Nazan Schnapp of Switzerland, the White Magnolia Restoring and Smoothing uh, Cell Rejuvenating Face Oil. You can see, used a lot of that. Okay, on to uh, facial moisturizer. I pretty much stick with the Olay Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream Fragrance Free. On my neck, I like from Gold Bond, the Neck and Chest Firming Cream. Sunscreen, which we know you got to wear every day, even if you don't do anything other than wash your face, at the very, very least, please put on sunscreen. As you know from previous posts, one of my favorites from La Roche-Posay is the Thilio 60. From Audacity is the SPF 50 Mineral Drops. Typology has a very nice facial sunscreen as well as a body sunscreen. Okay, evening routine. If I did wear makeup during the day, um, or really anything on my face, uh, if I wore makeup and I have eye, eye shadow and mascara on, the only thing I can use to room, pretty much to remove my eye makeup is from La Roche-Posay, the Tolerian um, 
Dermo Cleanser. Sometimes I just use it on the eyes and move to something else for the face, or I'll use this both eyes and the face itself. If I use that just on the eyes, I will sometimes use the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, or from Beauty Counter, the Counter Time Lipid Defense Cleansing Oil. For a toner, which again, I'll sometimes use in the morning as well, I really like from Pilliani, their Purifying Oil Toner, and from Bamboo Earth, this is becoming a favorite, uh, the Rosemary Toner. For serum, uh, again from Jasmina Beauty Products, I like the Viso Derarte Rejuvenating Superfood Skin Serum, and I sometimes use this in the daytime. If I'm not using my prescription strength tretinoin, which I've been using for about 30 years, because I don't want to overdo it, I just lost an earring, that's okay. Uh, over the counter um, retinoid type products, this is from Voda. Photozyme MD, the GFS Plus Night Serum with 0.5% retin oil all. From Naked and Thriving, this is their Renew Face Serum. From Bloom Effects, this is the Black Tulip Overnight Retinoid Serum. Uh, the facial oils I use at night, I don't gua sha two times a day, but at night I'll sometimes just with my hands and fingers do a little massage. I love from Pilliani, their uh, self-care, um, I can barely read this, night, uh, night oil, and uh, Naked and Thriving, the Prevent Face Oil, and Typology, this is their CBD-based oil. I will use at night from, uh, pretty much from Augustinus Bader, the Rich Cream, and then the, uh, the Chef's Kiss, as they say, from Bloom Effects is the Royal Tulip Nectar. I don't have it with me, but there, it comes with a little scoop. You, you stir it up, you take it out with the scoop, and you spread it all over your face. And it feels wonderful, particularly if you have dry and dehydrated skin. Finally, if I want to put yet another oil on top of the, uh, the Bloom Effects Royal Tulip Cream, I'll just grab a Barrage Oil Capsule prick it open, carefully prick it open, and put that all over. It is especially effective if you have like little dry patches here and there. And so that's it for what I tended to grab in 2023 and will continue to use into 2024. And one thing I'm going to start doing this year is to try to, you know, because when you write about beauty, you have a lot of stuff and I don't want it to, to go to waste. So I'm going to try to incorporate different brands uh, in my weekly routine and we'll report on that in a future video. And also in a future video, I will do the color cosmetics I tended to use in 2023. That's it for now. And we'll see you. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.